Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS class selectors versus HTML nesting of tags. You can see here, I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. In the head section, we have opening style tag, closing style tag. I have already opened default.html in the Google Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad. In the body section, I am going to say here some text one. Then I say here PR tag. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see some text one got displayed. I'm going to copy this and paste here down. I change here to file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that some text two also got displayed. How do I display this text one in bold? I can take help of HTML tag B tag. So here I say opening B tag and then I say here closing B tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the text one got displayed in bold. Very good. I want to display this uh, italic also. How do I do that? Of course, I need to take help of HTML nesting of tags concept. We know that we can nest one tag inside another tag. That means after the opening B tag, I can use the opening I tag. Before closing the B tag, I am going to close the I tag. File, save. Now, this text one is going to be displayed in bold as well as italic. File, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that the text one is now in bold as well as italic. How do I display this text one underlined also? I can take help of again nesting of tags concept. After the opening I tag, I say opening U tag and then I say here before the closing I tag, I am going to write closing U tag. Now the text one is going to be underlined, italic as well as bold. File, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that the text one is now bold, italic as well as underlined. The same thing I want to do to the text two also. How do I display this text two in bold without using HTML B tag and strong tag? I need to take help of CSS properties. What I do now is first thing I am going to write here opening span tag. And then I say here closing span tag because span tag is a inline level tag as B, I and U are inline level tags. Span tag is also inline level tag. Then what I do is to I go to style tag here. I say dot display bold. I am creating a class selector called as display bold. There I say font dash weight. Here I say bold semicolon and then I can copy this. I go to the span tag. Here I say class attribute. I assign the value display bold. Now the text two is going to be displayed bold. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that text two is displayed in bold. I want to display this text to italic also without using the I tag and EM tag. I need to take help of again CSS. Here I am going to create one more class selector dot display italic. In flower brackets, I am going to say font dash style italic semicolon. Now I am going to copy this from here. While learning class selectors, we discussed that we can assign multiple attribute values to the class here. After giving a space, I paste here display italic. Now what happens? This text too is going to be displayed bold as well as italic. File, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that text two is now italic also. What if I want to display this text two with underline? Of course, I need to take help of CSS without using the U tag or inserted text tag. I'm going to create one more CSS class selector dot display underline in flower brackets. I'm going to say text dash decoration. I say here underline semicolon. I'm going to copy this display underline. And paste after giving a space. I pasted here display underline. Now the span tag class attribute value has three different values actually. Display bold space display italic space display underline. Hence text two is going to be displayed bold italic and underline. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that text two has underline also. I hope you guys have clearly understood how we can take help of class selectors and class attribute to apply more than one styles to a selected text. 
For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.